Heritage Month is observed each year from September 15th through October 15th. And it celebrates the histories and cultures and contributions of American citizens whose ancestors came from Spain, Mexico, the Caribbean, and Central and South America. It began as Hispanic Heritage Week back in 1968, and then it was expanded. They needed an entire month, so they will celebrate now the entire month from the 15th to the 15th. And the 2020 census shows that America is becoming much more diverse. 18.9% of the U.S. population is Hispanic or Latino. Here in South Carolina, Hispanic or Latino residents make up 6.9% of the population. A group in the Midlands is wanting to help native Spanish speakers learn English. But with the loss of funds, they're trying to find a workaround. News 19 Sam Perez has the story. In this room right here, families learn how to communicate. Marilyn Morgan Sign helped create the Hispanic Parents Workshop in 2019, which teaches English to Spanish-speaking parents in Sumter. It assists families in being able to communicate uh, thoroughly with uh, law enforcement, medical, uh, school officials. They're able to advocate for their children. Um, they're able to find better jobs. Um, they can go on to get a better education. Um, this is important for the community. The group operates out of the Church of God of Prophecy. Typically, Sign tells me it has received funding from Sumter School District. This year, though, she's turning to the community for donations. We're winging it. We are trying the best we can with what we have. Um, I have purchased some uh, dry erase boards. Uh, they're you know, with my funding, my, my own personal money. Um, and we're going to try to do the best, even though we don't have uh, the money or the funds to purchase the books or purchase all the materials that we need. It's a classroom, so. Sign wants to start classes on October 1st. So far, there are 68 adults and 32 children signed up for classes and tutoring, but there are no books to teach them with. The group also serves the Hispanic community in Sumter through more than just teaching English. It also provides free opportunities like dance lessons, which Milka Callejas teaches with her daughter. There's girls that were really shy. They were in boxes like they would not, never talk. Now you see them laughing and sometimes I just watch, I just sit back and watch them laughing and talking to the other girls. Callejas tells me this is the only center in Sumter that supports the growing Hispanic population in this way. For Street Squad Sumter, I'm Sam Perez. Well, for information on the group and how you can do donate or volunteer, just go to our website. That's WLTX.com.